What's up, guys? Tyler for another vlog. Just kidding, I'm here for another vlog. But Tyler's here. Like always. Alright. So last time I filmed a vlog, I just edited it today. It'll be on YouTube tonight. It was cold, and I had the heater running in the garage. And that was, what, two months ago? And now today, it's June. And it's hot. I've been sweating all day, and I've just been sitting here doing nothing pretty much. Anyways. Uh, a lot's happened on the Ranger. I know I'm supposed to be filming everything, but my GoPro broke. I dropped it and shattered the screen, and like all my batteries wouldn't hold the charge. So I haven't filmed anything. Not that too much has gotten done. It looks like a lot's been done, but everything's kind of just sitting here. Kind of just playing around with measurements and that type of stuff. Um, sanded everything down, painted it black in the front end. The frame's nice and smooth now. Looks really good. Uh, the axle's in here. It's not permanently in here. Kind of just got it in there for visual. Uh, the perches aren't even welded on yet. It's just clamped together right now. But the truck is sitting on the suspension. Sitting on these jack stands. I got these ones here just in case. But they are not holding the truck up. And that is ride height on, what is that, 33s? Yeah. Put a, one of the hubs together. Got wheels and tires. Not those tires. I got a set of 35s. Same type of tire, but a set of 35s for now. I do want to run 37s eventually, but I couldn't pass up the deal on the 35s. So, they'll work for now. Alright, I've gotten a lot of parts since last time. I got my steering box finally. This is out of a Toyota pickup. I think it's like a 95 Toyota pickup, four wheel drive. And then I got the, the pitman arm for that. I got my knuckles put together here. I need a new hub. These threads are gone, so I can't thread my the other half of the hub on in my uh, whatchamacallits. I can't think right now. Heim joints are kind of just sitting here. So the way I did this, it looks kind of goofy. I got a spacer in here. The problem I ran into is this one's for my tie rod, obviously, to run across the bottom to the other side. And then this one's for the steering arm. I don't know the technical name for it. But it runs up across here, obviously, and then it'll go to my steering box, the pitman arm, which will be sitting up over here. Um, without this spacer, this sits down here. And the arm would come like directly to the middle of these leaves, so that was not going to work. I could bend it, but I went to, I think, five different places, and they would not bend the D1 tubing. It's quarter wall, one inch OD. They said it would break their machine. Pretty much everyone around here, they just got a, a tubing bender for like exhaust or something, so they couldn't bend it for me. They all told me I got to get some heat, bend it up, but for that I need it a settling torch or something and I don't have the money for that right now and I really don't need it other than that so it's not really an option right now um I haven't touched the rear axle it's still just sitting here I know I showed you guys that in another video I'm pretty sure sterling ten and a quarter it's just been sitting here since I got it um what else do we got going on here Okay, so the video I'm putting out tonight, you guys will already see it by the time you see this. I put these leaves in, and I measured everything completely wrong. I ended up cutting them back out. So what I did was, I know that I'm supposed to have 20 degrees, 20 to 35 degrees or so. I'm not exactly sure what it was. I knew when I was doing it. Facing, you know, for the shackle, facing backwards at 20 degrees. I think I set mine at 25. Well, I did that without the weight of the truck on it, so then when I did put the weight of the truck on it, the shackle bottomed down on the frame and I had absolutely no suspension. So I had to cut it all out and redo that. Um, to measure the, the amount of angle you got there, I used this guy. Magnetic protractor. So now when I put this on my shackle, 
I'm right at 20. What am I at here? <laughs> 10. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right at 20 degrees right here. Uh, 20 degrees is probably about the, the least amount of angle you want. It'll give you more lift, which is what I want to go for. More lift, a little bit less flex. And then I think you want to go up to 35 degrees. If you went at 35 degrees, it will give you less lift but more flex. I don't think I'll have a problem with the amount of flex this truck will have. Alright, so the point of today's video, other than just a general update on the truck since I've been gone for what seems like forever. Because <sighs> I didn't have a camera right now. It's summer and I got other things I'm doing. I'm working a lot more now. Anyways, today we're going to work on the tie rod. I've had the bar sitting up here just so I could visualize it. But today I'm actually going to cut the bar, weld the bungs in, get the tie rod all set. So the way I'm going to do it is I got these three quarter heim joints here. They're offset. I had regular heim joints on here on the bottom for my tie rod. And just mocking it up, when I'd turn the knuckle, it would contact the diff by just just a little bit so what I did is ordered these off rough stuff these got one inch offset one on either side obviously and that gives you just enough room so that when you crank it all the way it won't contact the diff so the left side is always left hand thread so I've got my jam nut on here and then the weld in bung which just threads on here obviously then your tube will insert over this and then you're going to weld all around that solid all right so for the research i've done on different websites and stuff the way to do this to measure this is you put your jam nut on and crank it down till it stops then you want to put your bung on and you want it about an inch from where the meat of your heim joint is or your tie rod whichever one you have my case, my heim joint, so about here. You want it, this end to be about an inch from that. That way, it gives you enough when you go to take an alignment. Go when you take your truck to go in an alignment. You've got enough to play with here, so they can adjust everything. And then this is also a lot stronger. You know, the more threads you got through here. So about at an inch there. I'm gonna have to remeasure it now. I've been playing with it, but it was about that where the heim joint just stuck out the end of the bung it was about an inch for me from there so then I got that done on both sides like that and I'm going to remeasure them again but then what I did here is I took my DOM tubing Slid the DOM tubing on that one. Crank both the knuckles, passenger side or driver side, whichever one. And then line these up, and right about there is where I made my rough line. I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room there, so I need to cut my tube there. So I'm only cutting about two, three inches off that, and that'll give me my tie rod. Alright, so that's not going to happen today. We had our housewarming party this past weekend and the garage got cleaned and stuff got moved around and the tip for my welder is gone, so I can't weld. So that won't happen, so I'm just going to make this an update video. Uh, let me know what questions you guys have about stuff I did, stuff I'm going to do. I'll just leave it at that. I'll make a I'll still make a video on the tie rod, but I mean now you guys got a little bit of understanding of what I'm gonna do with that. I wish I could do it today, but I can't. I gotta go get stuff for the welder. And yeah. So I'll just leave it at that An update video. It's coming along. Alright, thanks for watching. If you guys are still watching, following the vlog, 
just know I'm not gone. I'm still here. Life is just happening. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, so...